Hey team, our next analysis here is on pound CAD. What I want you to pay attention to is how price action becomes the deciding factor to know whether or not price is ready for its continuational push or continuational exhaustion. So when you watch the analysis, you're gonna hear me talk about the push and exhaustion cycle. Now, we needed, and you'll understand what I'm saying in a minute, we needed a bearish engulfing candle close to confirm that price has the sell sensitivity it needs to break to the downside and because we did not see that bearish engulfing candle close we know that price is going to continue to respect that squeeze so you'll understand what i mean in a moment so let's get into it all right pound cad starting on the monthly what's the first thing we do that's right we look for our zones so we see horizontal sell pressure horizontal sell pressure sell pressure turning into buy pressure we identify our monthly zones so after identifying monthly zone, we look for flow, okay? So we see a strong push to the downside reaching zone three, our bottom zone. Price then came back for exhaustion to retest zone two, sellers entered the market, and then we saw a continuational push to the downside to retest our lower zone. So price is now kind of in this reflex or impulse move off its zone three. Taking it to the weekly, we identified our weekly mid-range zone with horizontal sell sensitivity. Something else very clear to me are these higher lows, so we can identify our uptrend. Push, exhaustion, what's next? That's right, likely at some point a continuational push to the downside. Now, I do not see a bearish engulfing candle close here. This is not a bearish engulfing candle close telling me that price may still be following the squeeze before the break to the downside. So let's take it down a time frame. Now what I see is just that. This was not a bearish engulfing candle close on the higher time frame, which means that price has failed to break the uptrend to the downside and also failed to break below previous low. So this gives me a good idea that there's still not enough sell pressure for the next move to the downside. So, so I have a good hunch that price is gonna continue its way up and respect this squeeze a little bit longer before our continuational push to the downside. So now let's talk about entry taking the downer time frame. We see this move to the downside and we see an impulse move. This is buyers re-entering the market and think of it as kind of like a, a shock to the upside. But any move like this is considered a push as it's a significant move, it's a change in direction. So what's after a push? That's right, an exhaustion. And what do we look at for entry after exhaustion? That's right, we look at price action confirmation. So we're waiting for our next significant bullish engulfing candle close before entry to the upside because price will continue to follow and respect this squeeze. So what could potentially make this trade invalid? Well, we know that price is eventually gonna make a continuational push to the downside, meaning we have to be aware of this uptrend as this is where our buy sensitivity will take control. So if price comes back to retest this uptrend and breaks below this uptrend, it tells us there's not enough buy sensitivity this trade becomes invalid.